Evening everyone. I thought I'd get this up now and then uh, I'll maybe do the on feet tomorrow. Uh, you probably know what this is. If not, you'll have seen it in the uh, description. And right here, it's the 89 Nike Air Pressure. Lovely shoe. Uh, do you know something? I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, up until five years ago when it when it released it was 2015 I'd never even heard of it and I did some research and apparently back in the day when uh, this released I think it released like the same, exactly the same time as Reebok Pump maybe a bit after but uh, it sat on shelves apparently it didn't do well at all I think it was it was down to mainly uh with the Reebok pump, obviously, kids see a nice shiny basketball on a tongue and something you can press. You know, kids went mad for it. But anyway, apart from that, it's a gorgeous shoe. Great materials. They really uh, push the boat out on these, you know, especially with the leather. And it does have its downsides because the leather's that good. It creases so easily. And these have had uh, toe caps in. Toe guards, just like I told you earlier with the... Uh, with my command forces. And they still crease up, look. It's not too bad, but... It's definitely noticeable. Uh, this has got a, uh, I think it's just, it used to be a, a full air bladder, if I'm not mistaken. But it's just a, uh, just the, on the heel now. I'm sure of it. Tell me if I'm wrong. Obviously, the, uh, the air bladder, in this, it's in the collar. Uh, maybe heel as well around the back it's it starts here anyway if you can see that and comes all the way up to here the pump this is where the pump goes like that this is a pump I'll show you the box tomorrow and uh, the pamphlet what not goes in it what comes with the uh, the package big box I see this goes in here. Squeeze. Now you've got to be careful with this uh, because while you're squeezing, the air will come out. So as soon as you've got the desired effect, quickly pull it back out as soon as you can and it'll keep the air in. See, I've already... Uh, Pumped it up for you. You can't really see in there, but uh, it's quite pumped up. And if I'm being honest, the shoes are more comfortable with air in them. Because it sucks your, your foot down, you know, if you know what I'm talking about. And it really makes them more enjoyable to wear. Because without the air, this is quite quite tough here and you can feel it you can feel it around your ankle quite easily let's see if you can hear this I'll let the air out so it's a pretty loud hiss like I say it does get a uh, quite a substantial amount of air in there and it holds it as well you know like a lot of uh, Reeboks I mean same year these come out, I think it was the uh, 25th anniversary of the 89 pump high. And like I said, they don't hold air worth a damn. Certainly not like these do. Let's try this one. That was a bit quicker. But you get what I'm talking about. Yeah. These are 2015 
and I think these were probably uh, Nike's most expensive uh, shoe at the time. You know, uh, recommended retail price. I think there was three hundred dollars, uh, and that was probably what I paid. It was around that mark. I mean, here in the UK today, you're still going to pay around three hundred pound, four hundred pound. So uh, I don't know what that is in dollars. Six, six, seven hundred dollars. And you won't see many, let's say I'll do an on foot tomorrow, a proper on foot like I did with the command force. You never see those because 99% of uh, the people who bought these, they keep them wrapped up. I don't know why. Why would you keep them wrapped up? It was the first time you've got them in nearly 30 years and you'll probably never get them again. So just get them out and get them on your feet. They are beautiful. They remind me of the old uh, NES, you know, the Nintendo controller. If you've got one or, you, or you, you get hold of a picture of it, you look exactly the same colours and it's similar colours for the uh, the 89 Reebok Pump High as well. But yeah, great. This is actually different than what was on the original because that crumbled so easily. I think people were saying it was uh, crumbled within a couple of years. Stitching's all right. It could have uh, could have probably been done a bit neater. Uh, the only problems I found with this shoe was the uh, the glue. I mean, I've, I've cleaned most of it most of it up, but uh, I had a lot of glue stick coming out. Let's see on, the, on this one. We see the uh, the glue. Yeah. Let's see, I, I've, I have cleaned most of it up, and it doesn't help sometimes with the uh, the toe guards, you know, because it's putting a lot of pressure here on uh, here because it, it, it don't bend as much. It forces it sometimes to uh, not come apart, but you, you know you can tell it, it's. I mean not. Not doing it too good. Bit of damage. But yeah, tell me what you think. Nice high tongue. Uh, probably same shape, maybe. Same height as it was originally. I mean, I'd say it's really tall. Now you can see that one because I've got it stuffed at the back so you can see how tall the, uh, how high the tongue is. And this is Velcro. I actually thought it was some kind of strap, like the uh, the mags, the Back to the Future things. Like you just pulled it around, and it somehow clicked on. It is. It's rub. I think it's rubber. Is that rubber? Rubber, plastic, whatever. There you go. And the the uh, laces are really good as well because if you notice it's not like normal shoes you know your little round uh, lace holes the more squared well you know tiny little square you know what I mean and uh, if you pull your laces up from here and it'll tighten the whole shoe from the bottom each one so I don't know why they don't put that on uh, on other shoes. Beautiful. It gets some looks as well. I've had a few people stop me actually thinking they were the uh, the mags from Back to the Future. I suppose they do look a bit similar. A little bit. There you go. I apologise for the lighting. Let's see, it's really... Uh, Really dark outside, and I'm next to the uh, I'm next to the window. I've got the light on and a lamp, and it still it still looks pretty dark on camera. Let's hit the barn. Yep, yeah, like I say, I'm pretty sure it's just a heel air cushion. Please do tell me if I'm wrong. It can be quite hard to uh, 
to dress with as well, you know. It doesn't they don't go with everything, obviously. So I'll try and pick some uh something decent out tomorrow to uh, to go with it so you can have a better look. Probably look better out in the light as well. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.